AP World History Topic 2.7 Comparison of Economic Exchange Essential Question What were the similarities and differences among the various networks of exchange in the period from circa 1200 to C.1450? You might want to draw a Venn diagram for this one. The Silk Road and Indian Ocean trade were prominent trade networks that thrived during the Middle Ages, connecting Asia, Europe, and Africa and fostering the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures. These networks shared several similarities. Firstly, both were extensive and facilitated connections between different regions of the world. They served as conduits for the exchange of various commodities, including silk, spices, gold, and other luxury items. Additionally, both networks played vital roles in transmitting ideas, technologies, and religions, contributing to cultural exchange and interaction among diverse societies. Nevertheless, there were noteworthy distinctions between the Silk Road and Indian Ocean trade. The Silk Road primarily comprised land-based trade routes that spanned from East Asia to the Mediterranean, whereas the Indian Ocean trade revolved around maritime routes connecting the coastal regions of the Indian Ocean. Moreover, the Silk Road was predominantly influenced by the Chinese, who monopolized silk production and trade. Conversely, the Indian Ocean trade boasted a more diverse array of traders and merchants, including Arabs, Persians, Indians, and Chinese. Another disparity lies in the security of these trade networks. The Silk Road was more susceptible to the threat of bandits and raids due to its land-based nature. In contrast, the Indian Ocean trade enjoyed a relatively safer environment because of the presence of powerful naval powers such as the Chinese and the Indians, which contributed to safeguarding the maritime routes. In terms of their primary focus, the Silk Road played a significant role in the transmission of ideas and religions across different civilizations. Meanwhile, the Indian Ocean trade primarily centered around the exchange of goods, although it also facilitated some degree of cultural and intellectual interchange. Shifting focus to the Trans-Saharan trade and the Indian Ocean trade, both networks emerged as major trade routes during the Middle Ages, connecting Africa and Asia and facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures. They exhibited similarities such as their extensive reach, their facilitation of the exchange of diverse goods like gold, salt, ivory, and luxury items, and their role as conduits for the transmission of ideas, technologies, and religions. Additionally, both networks played a vital part in fostering cultural exchange and interaction among different societies. However, there were significant differences between the Trans-Saharan trade and the Indian Ocean trade. The Trans-Saharan trade predominantly operated through land-based routes stretching across the Sahara Desert, while the Indian Ocean trade thrived along maritime routes encompassing the coastal regions of the Indian Ocean. Moreover, the Trans-Saharan trade was dominated by Arab and Berber traders, whereas the Indian Ocean trade boasted a more diverse range of traders and merchants from various backgrounds, including Arabs, Persians, Indians, and Chinese. Security posed contrasting challenges for these trade networks as well. The Trans-Saharan trade faced vulnerability to raids and attacks by desert bandits, while the Indian Ocean trade enjoyed a relatively safer environment due to the protection offered by powerful naval forces, such as the Chinese and the Indians. In terms of their influence on religion, the Trans-Saharan trade played a more significant role in the transmission of Islam and other religions across regions, while the Indian Ocean trade, though not devoid of religious influence, placed greater emphasis on the exchange of goods. Lastly, exploring the similarities and differences between the Silk Road and Trans-Saharan trade, these two major trade networks connected Asia, Europe, and Africa during the Middle Ages, promoting the exchange of goods, ideas, and cultures. The similarities between them include their extensive reach, their facilitation of the exchange of a wide range of commodities, their function as channels for the transmission of ideas, technologies, and religions, and their contribution to cultural exchange and interaction among societies. However, notable distinctions exist between the Silk Road and the Trans-Saharan trade. The Silk Road was a land-based network of trade routes stretching from East Asia to the Mediterranean, while the Trans-Saharan trade, on the other hand, consisted of land-based routes that spanned across the Sahara Desert. 
the Silk Road was dominated by Chinese influence, particularly in silk production and trade, whereas the Trans-Saharan trade was primarily dominated by Arab and Berber traders. Additionally, the Silk Road faced challenges from bandit raids, while the Trans-Saharan trade was more susceptible to threats from desert predators such as lions and hyenas. Lastly, the Silk Road played a more significant role in the transmission of ideas and religions, while the Trans-Saharan trade played a more significant role in the transmission of Islam and other religions. And there you have it. The similarities and differences among the various networks of exchange in the period from circa 1200 to C.1450.